Kalesh Letvine says government has taken bold steps to curtail public spending and that great progress has been made in meeting the targets set for the current financial year. It is against these achievements that the government has revised its economic growth target to 2% compared to 0.2% the previous financial year. Schletwein, however, says cash flow remains tight, hence a need for effective planning and urgent performance management to improve service delivery outcomes. We need, therefore, to ensure that the administrative structures are efficient and realize the intended results in these core structural policy reforms. We should not be the reason why procurement is not happening or is slowed. The minister also lashed out at those who cite government budget cuts as an excuse for not executing their duties effectively and efficiently. He says while it's true that government spending has been reduced as an intervention to deal with the economic headwinds, essential services such as health, education, contractual obligations and the payment of salaries should not in any way be compromised. For an effective and efficient civil service, proper organizational structures should be in place. This calls for agility and careful planning and expenditure execution. Payments for critical service delivery should not be negatively affected by this state of affairs. This means that we should make sure that priorities are settled first. The finance minister is further disappointed that his ministry could only collect a mega 242 million of the projected 4 billion outstanding tax arrears. The minister said although there are still two weeks to go before the amnesty expires, the ministry must sit down and look at why the general's incentive could not yield the required results. He said the planned semi-autonomous body to replace the Directorate of Inland Revenue and that of Customs will be better equipped to collect taxes and increase the tax base to fund the budget. When you talk about compliance with tax liabilities, there are basically two elements that we have to consider. One is the ability to pay and the other one is the willingness to pay. The main purpose to create a semi-autonomous um, revenue agency is to up the skills level. I think we, we have a situation where revenue collection from taxpayers, companies, but also individuals, is becoming very complex. Daniel Nadunya, NBC News, Venduk.